the police sergeant facing police act charges for his handling of a 2016 complaint against serial killer Bruce MacArthur is speaking out, claiming he's had to take the fall for poor police procedure. In a letter sent to colleagues and obtained by City News, Paul Gauthier points a finger squarely at police chief Mark Saunders and calls into question the timing of the internal investigation. I'm not confident that the evidence in this case is going to ultimately show that the uh, information gathered by Detective Gauthier contributed to the identification of um, Bruce MacArthur as a serial killer, did not detract in any way from the Project Prism investigation. That's what Sergeant Paul Gauthier's lawyer told media outside police headquarters Tuesday. But in a letter written by the 32 Division officer and sent to his police colleagues, Gauthier goes further, alleging the motives behind the charges he faces are, quote, simply because they need a scapegoat. Gauthier is facing insubordination and neglect of duty charges, stemming from a 2016 complaint from a man who told police Bruce MacArthur had tried to strangle him. Last week, MacArthur pleaded guilty to eight murders, three of which had already occurred at the time of that incident, unbeknownst to police, all of them involving strangulation. Gauthier was the officer who took that report and says he believed a proper investigation was completed. MacArthur was arrested and questioned, but Gauthier felt there wasn't enough grounds to charge him. But what he didn't know at that time, he says, was that MacArthur had been interviewed in 2012 by police for Project Houston, the investigation into the disappearance of three men who would later be learned to be MacArthur's first victims. Gauthier claims it was never flagged. In fact, he says, I had no idea there had even been a project with respect to missing men from the LGBT community downtown. All of this rings... Um uh, familiar and and because if you recall the Bernardo case many many years ago there was a complete breakdown of police services sharing information and so there seems to be here even in the digital age when we supposedly learned our lesson uh, some communication and information sharing breakdowns between uh, police divisions and investigations again if we are to if we are to believe please. what uh, what what's in his uh, his letter Gauthier also questions the timing of the investigation into his conduct, saying the two-year-old report was called into question by Detective Hank Edzinga the day after the chief of police received criticism for comments some construed as blaming police's failure to catch MacArthur sooner on community members not coming forward. Suddenly, the very next day, February 28th, the chief's former partner and good buddy, Hank Edzinga, typed a letter to professional standards calling my investigation into question. The next week, there was a leak by a police source to the media with regards to this. Itzinga gave multiple interviews to various news personnel announcing misconduct on my part. This before the internal investigation even began. Toronto police wouldn't comment on the letter. A spokesperson only telling City News the matter involving Sergeant Gauthier followed a standard internal investigative process. It will now be considered before the tribunal. I think that we'll see division in the force as time goes on, because if the letter is uh, true, uh, it looks like uh, Gauthier's uh, superiors are standing behind him, his direct superior. So, so it seems that uh, battle lines have somewhat been drawn. It's not clear exactly who or how many people the original letter was sent to. Gauthier's lawyer telling City News in an email, Gauthier maintains his innocence and is obviously frustrated with how he's been portrayed. This document was a private communication to his friends expressing his frustration. And keep in mind, don't it's it's you know whether this is leaked or whether they actually believed that this would go public. Um, the chief of police has been very public about this throughout. I mean, they're playing the media, although uh, I, I think uh, uh, not very smartly. And and but but certainly it is a public battle. Now, Gauthier is currently on medical leave. In the letter, he says since his suspension, he's been diagnosed with depression and PTSD. His case has been put over until later this month, and his lawyer is asking for an independent adjudicator or judge to oversee it instead of a police inspector appointed by the chief.